Known for his controversial sociopolitical statements, Julius Cello Malema began his political career at a young age everyone couldn't even imagine a person of such age to be quite active in the dirty game of politics. Being raised by a single mother who worked as a domestic worker in Sechego Township couldn't stop his unbreakable spirit becoming a thorn in the leg of the ANC of South Africa. Imagine a very young boy being given a main task of removing National Party posters placed outside police stations. Joining the Masipat Seller, or simply Tailblazers, movement of the African National Congress ANC at the age of nine, was one in a million moment you have to sit in a tree and think about. Being determined to lead, at the age of 14, Malama was elected as both chairperson of the African National Congress Youth League ANCYL, branch in Sechego, and the regional chair in 1995. Not settled at all, two years later, in 1997, he became the chair of the Congress of South African Students COSAS for the Limpopo province and finally its national president in 2001. Should we call it stubbornness? Wishing to burn the prison, a person is locked in to prevent her jailing. This statement by a young Molema checked the villain nature of him. In this statement, he was talking about the jailing of Winnie Madikazella, Mandela. Being elected as president of the African National Congress Youth League ANCYL in 2008, showed his resilience nature of becoming a prominent political figure in South Africa. Continuing to show stubbornness, Molema vowed that the Youth League would take up arms if the prosecution of Jacob Zuma for alleged fraud and corruption continued. Even former Archbishop Desmond Tutu called on Molema to apologize and complaints were laid with the South African Human Rights Commission by several opposition political parties, the General Council of the Bar of South Africa, among other individuals. This statement put him in danger of being criminally prosecuted for incitement to commit a crime. Accused of praising and pledging support for the dictatorial rule of President Robert Mugabe, who lost the election, but refused to hand over power forcing the opposition into a coalition, tensions between Molema and Jacob Zuma started to rise. Having misunderstandings with a NC tripartite alliance, the South African Communist Party SACP and the Congress of South African Trade Unions Kasoto, by proposing the nationalization of mines, made him a brave person to look for by the frustrated citizens of South Africa. Calling white people criminals who had taken land from blacks by force, a speech made by him during a pre-election rally in Kimberley in May 2011 started his endless journey of not wanting to sit down on the same table with the Democratic Alliance Party of South Africa, majorly a white man party. Even though Julius Malima said on behalf of ANC, on the 11th of November 2011, Malema was found guilty on several charges.
including bringing the ANC into disrepute and sowing divisions within the party. He was however found not guilty on separate charges of inciting hatred and racism. Before we proceed, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like and comment on our videos. Also donations through features like Super Thanks button or Simply Thanks down on the video are welcome. Now, what do you think was next for Malema? Of course, expulsion from ANC. With many thinking it was the end of his political career, as he was dependent on the tradition and the history of the ANC to support his agenda, and being excluded from the ANC would mean that he was very much isolated. Malema, among other expelled fellows, vowed to continue their fight against the inability of the government to establish domestic and international policies beneficial to the development of South Africa. This move led to the formation of the renowned Economic Freedom Fighters Party, which was launched on the 10th of July 2013. Having non-negotiable principles of land expropriation and nationalization of mines, both without compensation, the party started to receive some criticisms. EFF started to gain momentum following the fourth democratic national elections in 2014, when the EFF obtained 25 seats in the National Assembly after having secured 6.35% of the national votes. From dressing in uniforms of the party, while in Parliament, while holding up red apron, trying to tell people that they are from the economic freedom fighters, working for the poor, EFF started to gain popularity, not only in South Africa, but Africa at large. Malinga continued to show his further love for politics by officially obtaining his bachelor's degree in political leadership and citizenship from the University of South Africa, UNISA, on the 30th of March 2016. In the 2019 general election, the EFF won nearly 11% of the vote and 40 for seats in Parliament, the third largest by then behind Democratic Alliance Party. This showed a significant journey Julius Malema had moved since leaving the ANC. Before the 2020 for election, Julius Malema, with his EFF, had been tough against Jacob Zuma and Cyril Ramaphosa. Julius Malema surprised South Africa and Africa of what he did in the 2020 for election. As it is known that support for the ruling African National Congress ANC significantly declined in this election and lost the parliamentary majority that it had held since the inaugural post-apartheid election in 1994. A coalition government had to be made this time round. Malema, who had showed signs of emerging with the ANC among other parties he wished, made a U-turn against the coalition 
and decided to contest for presidency during the final vote section in Parliament. This was because ANC decided to bring democratic alliance into the coalition, a thing which Malema is always fixed to change his mind, because he accuses whites of grabbing land from blacks. This time round we thought, Malema would for the first time work with the ANC since his departure, but decided to die while standing. What do you think about him? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to think about supporting the channel through thanks below the video.